So this is the Rosswheel Tor rear rack. It's a lightweight aluminium rack capable of carrying 25 kilograms total weight. The lower shelf is for large pannier bags and the top shelf is for a trunk bag or a large duffel bag so that they don't clash with the pannier bag. It has two options of rear light mounting, one for a band on and the other for a bolt on. Included in the rear rack are two sets of dropout mounts, one short and one long. These are to fit different bike geometries and also to increase rack setback if you have any heel clash. We also have two widened washers. These are to help different, fit different disc brake setups to clear the calipers. And lastly, we have a adapter plate for adapting this standard setup of rack mounting with two bosses either side of the chainstay to a single central boss, perhaps behind a caliper brake. To start, fit the rack to the bike. You may need to bend open the rack to get it around your frame depending on the width of your rear axle. Take your M5 screw and bolt the front hull of the foot, mounting foot, into the frame. Tighten, but not too much, so that you can still move the rack's position easily. Next, you'll need to use your spanner to loosen this nut. So you can move each of your seat stay mounts forward. Also, you can position the rack in an upright position and you may need to reorient the seat stay mount to fit. The best setup is when you have the seat stay mount in line with the rest of the rack. So here, we're going to loosen this and move it to the side, that's about in line, and tighten. Take another M5 screw and fix the seat stay mount to the seat stay. Next, make sure that this bolt is tightened as you may have left it a little loose. And lastly, tighten this screw. Remember not to over tighten. The alternative seat stay mounting bracket can be used in this way with two bolts either side and a bolt through the middle of the seat stay crown.